Hello everybody. Recently a friend of mine and YouTube subscriber asked if I could do a video on time-lapse photography. So here we are and thank you Ron. We're going to start by just going through an easy way for you to do time-lapse. We're going to be using a tripod so we're going to keep our camera steady. You can also make it more advanced if you do or you can use things like your automobile you can mount the camera on the outside or the inside of your automobile motorcycle scooter skateboard you can even get little little like small devices that you can mount on top of your tripod so your camera turns just a little bit and this way you can get movement in your camera as well as what you're photographing but in our case it's going to be just a easy way to get started and we're going to be also looking at different settings so you can see the effects that your setting has on your time-lapse movies now there's an easy way for you to do time-lapse movies and that would be to use your phone or a tablet however i believe that the settings on your phone are set to shoot every second so with a more advanced camera you could change your camera settings and that's what we're going to have a look at today the different effects you're going to get when you do change those settings and I also want to mention that if you want to learn more advanced techniques there's a link to a YouTube video that's put on there by B&H Photo it's a program that was given by Rich Reed and he works for National Geographic and Lindblad Expedition so he's one of the best of the best in doing time-lapse photography so if you want to do more really advanced techniques this is something that I recommend that you have a look at so let's get started and doing some clips of time-lapse photography and we're going to be using a Nikon camera in our case a D7200 but any newer digital SLR or mirrorless is going to give you in-camera time-lapse capability so let's take a look so we're going to do a time-lapse using the Nikon D7200 and we're going to go into the movie shooting menu and we're going to click on time-lapse photography and then here under the time-lapse photography window you're going to see several different options that we can choose from the first one on top is start and that's where you want to be to start recording your time-lapse movie clip and the next one down is interval and that's where we're going to set up how often it's going to shoot so let's do our first time-lapse so let's set it up for shooting a frame every one second. So we're going to go into the block on the right, which is for seconds. And we have this set now to shoot a frame every one second. Okay, let's click on that. And next we're going to go into shooting time. And here we're going to go into the center block, which we're going to set to shoot for 15 minutes. So this will be our minute block. And we have 15 minutes set now. We're going to click OK on that. And notice also that I have the exposure smoothing set to on. And when we're ready, we're going to go back up to start. And then as soon as you're ready, you can click OK. And here you can see we're taking an image every second for 15 minutes. And here's the result of the time lapse that we have it set to shoot one frame per second for a total of 15 minutes. And this is what you come up with. So let's do another one. And this time we're going to set the interval for three seconds. So we're going to go back into time lapse and again we're going to go into interval and this time we're going to set it to shoot every three seconds. So we're going to change that one to a three. Okay, let's click on that. The shooting time, let's keep that the same for now. We have it set again for 15 minutes 
and then as soon as we're ready we're going to go back up to start click OK so now you can hear it firing a shot off every three seconds and this is the result that we get shooting a frame every three seconds for a total of 15 minutes now because we're shooting just one frame every three seconds the length of the time lapse is going to be a little bit shorter but look how much more dramatic it is shooting every three seconds instead of one second now something else that's worth noting is that when you look at the window here in this case we're in the interval window and the first clip that we took we set it to shoot every second and if you look on the bottom section here you could see if we're shooting once every second for 15 minutes it's going to render us a video approximately 30 seconds long so this is helpful and if you remember on the second video we set it to shoot for once every three seconds for 15 minutes also and looking at the bottom section here you can see that it renders us a clip of approximately 10 seconds even in the shooting time window we can see that little block on the bottom when we're set for 20 minutes and here we were set to shoot every six seconds for 20 minutes renders us a video of approximately 6.7 seconds so this is worth knowing when you have to have a certain time limit on your time-lapse movie okay so let's go back into it and this time let's change the interval now from three seconds let's try six seconds okay now we have it set to shoot a frame every six seconds and because it's going to shorten the length of the time lapse let's just up the shooting time from 15 let's make it 20 minutes okay now we're going to be shooting a time lapse for a total length of 20 minutes at six frames per second so notice here as we're looking at our time lapse now set to shoot for 20 minutes one shot every six seconds and look how fast those clouds just go by it's just very dramatic so again in certain cases this may be okay but for me I like having the interval set to shoot a frame every three seconds and in our particular case here we have it set for 15 minutes now you can adjust this to any way that you like and notice also on this particular one we have the camera set on the tripod now I prefer having my camera set to shooting manual and let's just say for example we're photographing a sunset so once I have the exposure I'll start the time lapse and then you can notice that the sun's going down it's going to get darker and that's how it's going to show up in your time lapse if you were to set it automatically your camera may compensate and brighten up the area and it's not going to look natural so for most cases I would say I like shooting manual something else that's very important also I have my camera set to shoot back button focus this way once I set my focus it's locked in and if you don't use back button focus then I'd recommend you set your camera in this particular case for manual focus so it's not going to change on you so once you have your focus locked in start your time lapse so that's it thank you very much for watching and i hope you enjoy doing these time lapse movies as much as i do thank you mm -hmm.